Alright folks, welcome back to the shed. So it's been a while since I put a video out there and to be honest with you, there's not really any massive excuses as to why not. I have been making videos, I've been making videos and I've been editing them and then not liking the end result and just scrapping them, which is obviously not the best way to run a YouTube channel. However, that's the way it's been. But I plenty, plenty, well I've been planning and planning and planning to get things back in order. Start getting tutorials back out, you know. So I want to actually expand into a couple other things other than just focusing on motorbikes. Uh, to be around the same subject, mechanics, engineering, uh, just expanding out a little. But anyway... What I'll do is I'll give a little sort of background to what's going on, uh, what I'm going to be up to here today. Uh, so, right, anyway, one of my welding sculptures I've been working on. Still got this one to five engine to strip down. I need to do the stator side and the clutch side before going into the, the bottom end here. Some of my flower sculptures, uh, more flower sculptures, a wee bonsai tree. Likewise, I've got this 125 to repair again. We had an electrical issue with this bike. It was, well, initially it looked like a faulty regulator. Done all the checks to test the regulator. The regulator was fine. But what I did notice is we had cracks in the wires coming from the stator and one of the unre unregulated AC wires was touching the engine casing and that was the issue. So I stripped the stator out, replaced the wires and put it back in and now it's all running fine. However, once I got it back on the road, we tain it out and it just wouldn't go over 40 mile an hour. Well, 40, 45. Now, initially I thought it was a problem with the ignition coil. I tested the ignition coil and the coil was fine. So what I'd done was check the compression, discovered the compression was a little low. Uh, now, I know the piston rings in this are just fine. However, the valves need lapped. So anyway, I started pulling this head and unfortunately, this bike in particular one of the bolts is exposed here that runs through the, the head and the block and this has got quite rusty over time. So I've had to pull this head off and I got it to here and it's jammed up solid. Now we still need to get this off, obviously. Um, so the main issue is this, this uh, rusty cylinder head bolt. Uh, what I'm going to do is get a block of wood on there and we'll hammer this back down and we'll try and lift this off again. Do, 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 do. Anyway, it's off. Um, I've already pulled the valve springs because I did test the valves for leakage. You know, put this upside down, filled this with water. I went in for my dinner, came back out a couple of hours later and half the water was missing. So we have got a leak at one of these valves. It's the exhaust valve. Um, I know there's quite a lot of damage here. 
but it's mostly superficial. This is going to get a skim anyway. So I'm going to clean this up and we're going to go ahead and we'll lap these valves. So moving onwards, I have lapped these valves. Uh, just after I started doing the exhaust valve, I decided I would widen these ports, but the prettiest because my Dremel, well, cheap knockoff Dremel, decided to pack in. Um, but we've widened it up to allow more airflow in. I also done the exhaust side again, not the prettiest because tools packed in. Uh, we'll see if it actually makes the difference. Alright, guys, sitting out in the courtyard. So I've taken this out for a wee run and it actually seems okay. Although we're a wee bit short on the top end. Uh, we're reaching 55 max. Uh, this used to reach 65, so I think I'll need to mess about with the, the fuel mix. Uh, quite possibly we'll need a bigger jet on there, but we'll find out later on. So, we we'll take this out tomorrow, and we'll see how it handles a good few miles. Though, as I say, it seems to be pulling okay, better than it was anyway. Uh, before this, it was only reaching forty mile an hour, so that was a big issue. Um. So yeah, yeah. Alright guys, hopefully I'll get back onto some sort of schedule for releasing videos. Um, hopefully. But in the meantime, you can follow me on Facebook and you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I do upload vid uh, not videos, I upload photos. More often than I upload videos to YouTube. Anyway, hey guys, till next time, I'll catch you later.